It's been gloomy in these New York City streets. 95 degree weather, been raining all day, so no matter where you are, I hope you are in a dry and cool environment. This is going to be the first video on this channel. I'm a tech enthusiast, so right now that's the general direction that this channel will be going in. This first video will be on my desk setup as of currently September 2023, so let's get into it. So going into the heart of the setup, my main computing device is the 16-inch Macro Pro with the M2 Max chip, 32GB of RAM, and 1TB of storage. Next up we have the base model M2 MacBook Air with 256GB of storage and 8GB of RAM. The Steam Deck might come as a surprise to many, but this little guy is no joke. This portable handheld gaming system is running full-fledged Windows 11 and utilizes both my monitors perfectly. It can fit in almost any fanny pack and even large pockets. It still amazes me how capable of a machine this is for $399 and how it can easily replace most people's desktops. I still do, however, have a desktop and its small form factor PC and a Dan A4 case I built over two years ago at this point. It can still handle everything I throw at it and barely takes up any space on my desk. So the first thing you'll notice when looking at the desk is that it's actually from a brand named Husky. Husky specializes in garage storage and workbenches, and while I'm not a mechanic and this isn't a garage, I've always loved how rugged and well built their desks are. The desk can withstand anything I do on it, while most of the time I'm just typing, I'll occasionally put a heavy load on it, and by heavy load, I mean I'll stand on it. I also like the polished finish and how easy it was to set up. The cabinets came pre-built with less than $200 for amazing quality. They also do have adjustable desk if that's your thing, never felt the need for it, but if getting up on that desk will help with your back posture and with ergonomics and all that, then that's always an option. I'm running a dual monitor setup. My main monitor is a 27 inch gaming monitor from Dell, it's 27 inches and 1440p. And then my side monitor which I have on portrait mode is 24 inches, 1080p. Let me be the first one to tell you that docking stations are a huge game changer for any setup as someone who's constantly using different devices like my MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Steam Deck, and my desktop. It's very necessary to have something that's going to be both efficient and convenient when switching between devices. Using just one USB-C cable to switch between any devices and be able to use my dual monitor setup with all the peripherals including keyboard, webcams, mouse. It's pretty much necessary at this point and I can't think of using without it. So one wire, I'm using my Steam Deck, I'm using my MacBook Air, and devices like this actually don't support a dual monitor set up out of the box. So make sure you look for a docking station that has display link technology. It's going to be a huge game changer in your setup. So next I'll go into my keyboard and mouse setup. So for the mouse I typically use the most, I'd say it'd have to be the trackpad on my MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. If I'm not using the trackpad, I'm using the Logitech G604 mouse. I believe they discontinued this mouse, but I'm not sure. But the main reason I use it is because it has very long battery life. It's over 250 hours, so it typically lasts me over six to seven months. Can't remember the last time I changed the battery on this. Also because it's wireless, and lastly because of the adjustable buttons on it. I find it very useful for different gestures on both Mac and Windows. Next is my keyboard setup. So for the keyboard I use the most, I have to say it's again, my MacBook Pro keyboard, but if I'm not using that, I'm using the Keychron Q2 wired custom mechanical keyboard knob version, 65% layout with Gateron G Pro brown switches, double gasket. I was not going to remember that. And the second one I'm using is my Apple Magic Keyboard. I'll put a little sound test right now. Next we have webcams. So this is my $20 webcam. You can tell it's not the best quality, but it gets the job done. Versus this is the Insta360 Link. It's extremely high quality, it's very professional, but sometimes it just shows too much detail. Like you can see every single pore on my face. It's a lot, sometimes I'm not feeling it. You can also track me. I don't usually typically run while I'm in meetings. If I did, this would be very helpful. It also zooms in so you can see my soul. Versus this camera, it's a basic camera, it gets the job done. Sometimes you don't want every single detail on your face being shown on camera and this helps you just blend in a little. The other one is just, it's a whole lot, it's a whole lot. So for sound options on my setup, I have a bunch of options. I have my Bose QC35 headphones, I have my AirPod Pro Maxes, my AirPod Pros. If I don't want any in-ear options, I have 
my small Devoom TV speaker. I'm not sure if they still sell this one, but they have a couple of different options on their store. It gets plenty loud enough for what I use it for. I don't need huge speakers. If I do some, want something with a little more power, I have this guy right here, and this will actually start shaking my entire building, even if I only have it to 60 to 70% sound. There's a bass boosted option if I just want the total infrastructure to collapse, but it's honestly very unnecessary for what I use it for. For my main mic, I have the AKG P120 mic that's connected to the Audient Evo 4 USB audio interface. It's very easy to use. And I also have a secondary mic, just a Logitech Blue Snowball Ice mic. For the main light on my desk, I have the Xiaomi Mi computer monitor light bar. It's very easy to install and also comes with an adjustable light. I do also have a Philips Hue, but this is the main light that I use on a daily basis. This tiny cube right here is actually a 3-in-1 charger by Anchor with MagSafe. It charges up to 15 watt speeds. It's perfect for my Apple Watch Ultra, my AirPods Pro, and also for my iPhone. Sometimes I do move it to my bed stand because it's perfect there too. I have one of the most popular desk chairs for my setup, Herman Miller Aeron Chair with lumbar back support. I also do have a bunch of mini decoration all over my desk, including this neon sign and also a light bar near my bed. If there are any other items that I forgot to mention, just post a comment below. And that is my current desk situation right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.